Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Attack. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day, and we are back in Maple Meadows, the first uh, park in the campaign. Last episode, we kind of came up with our theme using this sort of, sort of very rustic theme with lots of posts and uh, wood tones and stuff like that. We built uh, a coaster, we built a couple of basic rides, put in a couple of shops, nothing super fancy. Uh, but I want to kind of continue this a bit, and I think the first thing to do is probably going to be to make a station for this coaster. I think that's going to be kind of important. So let's go ahead and grab some pillars here. And I think what I want to do is I actually want to encase this entire station probably going to here. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be good. And we'll run pillars up the whole thing. So we're just gonna put pillars all along each of these grid lines. Here, there, uh, and one more. All right, that should be all of them. And we'll make sure we get up to the right height and put another pillar on top. So we'll have a fairly large building here, but I think we can still make it look interesting if we do some uh, some height differentiation with the roof. And that way this whole thing will be in a fairly nice large station that will kind of draw people in and make things more interesting. There we go, so put that there as well. Okay, so I think we probably want to grab this wall right here. And we're going to do something like that. We'll do the backside like so. Um, kind of looking at this and going, yeah, I want to have some something underneath there. So let's go to our terrain. Actually, you know what we could do instead? Yeah, yeah, let's do this instead. We'll put walls here and there. So this will basically all be walled off. Right, so the people won't see what's back here. Uh, and we can go like that as well. And then, uh, wait, what? There we go. Uh, let's grab our terrain editor and let's just grab maybe rock because it kind of looks like concrete. And we'll just fill in that little bit under there. And that way it's kind of hidden. I think that'll look better. And then right here, I want that to go in as well. Raise this up. Like so. Probably going to turn some of these into windows. But for now, let's just do it this way. And like so. So this is kind of the basis of our coaster. Um, then I need... that door right there. I'll put one here. Here. Oh. There and there. So there's our entrance and exit. Uh, we need... Uh, actually, we probably don't. I was going to say we need like a, a proper platform here, but I think what we could just do is go to details and just grab actually have I used an awning yeah I totally have let's just grab this awning right here put one here put one there and then we'll put one here and there as well and then we just need to decorate out the building and make it look 
all pretty and stuff. So, um, do I have... Yeah, here we go. Uh, grab the half slope. Put that up to here. We'll do that on either side. And then, let's see, this is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this would be like our center point. If we're going to have like a raised area in the middle, which is kind of what I want to do. Because uh, I think that'll look good. Grab that flat bit. Here, 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 and here. And then we'll go back to our pillars. And I think on each of these, we're just going to end up raising this bit up like an extra pillar length. And then here, here, here. Oh. There we go. That seems good. Grab the flat bit. There, there. We definitely want these borders to go all along the edge. Um, this is kind of in the way right now. That's fine. Let's kind of put that all along there like so. I don't think we need to worry about doing the inside of it. I think that'll be fine. Uh, so let's go like that. There. And then there. And then we want to bring this bit across as well. We'll grab pillars. And put those on each of these corners. I want to do it on each of these as well. And then we'll just drop it down just a little bit. Actually, drop it down to here. Because that'll still end up being the right height for these pillars. And then we can just go around the whole thing. pretty easily. That'll give us some nice roof support looking bits. There we go. And then raise it up to right there to do each of these little cross sections. Okay. I think that's good. Then I want to grab a wall and go here, here, here. Like so. That seems good. And we'll probably end up replacing some of these, as I said, with windows or something like that. But for now, I just kind of want to get this stuff in place. Uh, so let's go back to here. Grab this half slope bit. Put one here. One there. One there. Here. Like so. And finally, the half wall. There and there. Need to grab this flat bit again so we can put these little cross beams in. Oh, I just realized I missed a half wall as well, but that's fine. We can fix that in a minute. Half wall. There. There. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. And then let's grab this half slope roof. And we'll go like so. Missed one right there. Okay. And finally, 
the flat roof. Here, here. Here, here, here. And here, here. Okay, that all seems good. I think we need some pillars. Like so. There we go. And then I think what I want is like a balcony. I think that would look really good on kind of this center section here. So I think what we're going to do is raise up like so. I just realized I missed a pillar, but that's fine. Easy fix. There we go. And let's bring these up just a... Uh... Well, actually, we need a fence. So let's go up like half a block, like half a pillar. Because then we can put uh, like proper fences on that. We'll go here. Drop that down just a little bit like so. And I think that seems good. And then maybe what we could actually do up here, let's go with this wooden path. Ah, uh, it's not gonna be the right height. Okay, that's fine. Um, I want something that looks more like a path though. Where would this path have to go? It would have to be, well, actually that doesn't look that bad. If we put our own fences in there, That'll end up looking fairly good, I think. Grab this door bit. Get rid of those. All right, do something like that. And then we can go into borders and find... Actually, I think it's our fences. Yeah, and we can get this curb. And we can put that here. Hmm... I can make it the same color as this. Uh, where's the? Here we go. Make that the same color as this. And what that'll do is get rid of this fence here. And then the only problem, well, actually, the rest of this then is kind of hidden. So I think that's fine. And then we could go walls. And just grab, like, a glass wall. And go there, there, and there, right? So they're, like, uh, basically, like, windows. And then this can be, like, kind of a decorative piece. And maybe what we... Oh, that's not what I want to do. No. Paintbrush. There we go. Then maybe we can paint that to make it a bit more wood-like. And then we'll grab this fence piece here. And put it like so. Yeah, I think that's a pretty nice looking station. Could use a little more detail on some of the sides and bits, but uh, this is looking fairly good. It needs a little bit more up here. You know what? I'm kind of looking at this though then. I'm not I'm not loving this uh Let's grab this color and let's just try something like that. Ooh, I like that much better. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then for details we can add Uh, I guess we're looking for props. Hmm, I really want like crates, but I don't see anything, so I guess we'll just have to use these vases. And we can put a couple of those kind of up here. Because this is really just for looks. And I think this is the only one we haven't used yet? Nope. We have used that one, so it's this one. Yeah, there we go. 
Just do something like that. And then I want to find a way to get a little color up there. So maybe we go and grab this awning. Put that up here. And then I think we got a fairly nice looking station. Uh, and to add a little bit more, we can go into plants. And grab, or maybe uh, even better actually, let's go fences. And let's grab like a short hedge. Put one here and here. And then we'll grab this bench and do something like that. So there's a little a little covered area here where people can kind of relax and chill out and all that kind of good stuff. I think that'll be really good. Um, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, and then finally, let's go see if maybe I can get some flags. Are there any uh, flags here? Yeah, there we go. Grab this green. And I'm just going to put one right here, 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 and here. And then same on each of these. To add a whole bunch of flags to kind of make this like a visual. I think that's too many flags. I'm I'm looking at this now and going, yeah, that's too much. Maybe we just do like four, right? Like right up here. I think that's a little better. And then this, a lot of this will be either some sort of a a set piece of some sort, um, or we'll have a fence or, or something like that. So most of that won't matter. The backside, I think, is fine, but maybe we can add some detail there as well. Once we add trees and all this other kind of stuff, it'll get a lot better. Uh, but we kind of have our theme established. There's still a lot left to do in this park, though. We still have a lot of money left, uh, and I want to get this done this episode. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to jump into a bit of a time lapse, and I'm just going to get a whole bunch of stuff done. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get some rides into the park. So I'm going to start with this Twister. It's just a good, decent little ride. It's high intensity, uh, so it'll bring guests in fairly well. And I want to start doing kind of a covering, sort of like the, uh, the style of the carousel right next to it. Um, I was going to use the blueprint, and then I had a little bit of issues trying to, like, get it to place. As far as I know, there's no undo button for when you put down a blueprint. So if you mess it up and you place it in the wrong spot, basically you have to delete the whole thing. Um, but I got that all sorted out and then, it, you know, it's fine. Uh, the rest of it just kind of did it much like the carousel. Raised a couple towers in the corner, uh, in the corners, covered the front bits uh, and the sides and the pathway, put in the fences, all that kind of good stuff. So next... Uh, I'm going to start kind of detailing out some of the areas a little bit, adding some foliage and some flower boxes and stuff like that, um, kind of covering the area over by the back, uh, the bathroom, although I am going to actually change that uh, almost immediately. We're going to put in another ride, uh, and I wanted to raise this one up just a little bit so there'd be a little bit of height variation uh, and kind of move it off of the grid just so everything wasn't perfectly lined up everywhere. Um, so for the covering for this, uh, I decided, or the pathway, the queue and the, the exit, I decided to kind of raise them up just a little bit and have it kind of wrap around. And then I'm using uh, half walls to kind of cover up everything and putting in the posts and stuff. Uh, for the cover over the queue and the exit, I wanted to do something sort of like you're seeing here, but instead I ended up scrapping that almost immediately and decided to raise the center bit up a little bit, like uh, we did there. And then I put in some glass panes uh, to kind of cover things up. I was thinking about putting a covering over the part that wasn't covered, like a little, uh, some tarps or an awning or something like that, but I didn't like it. Um, so I ended up going with hedges. And now I'm just putting in the pillars because I want to actually encase this whole teacup ride in uh, with a glass roof. I want to put a glass roof over it. I think that'll look really cool. 
also put it underneath uh, rain cover as well, which is, you know, kind of an added benefit, not necessarily super important. Uh, it took me a while to find the right glass corner piece. One thing I've noticed is that not all of the uh, design elements are named in a very clear manner. Sometimes there's a couple things that are named like glass corner piece, for example. Uh, so it took me a little while to find the right one. But then I'm just putting in some more foliage, kind of cleaning up the pathways. I noticed that I accidentally messed up and put the entrance and the exit to this ride in reverse. So <laughs> I had to switch those back and make sure that they each ended up going in the right spot. Uh, but that's fine. And now I'm just putting the fences in place. There we go. We got all that done. So next, I want to add a couple more shops, uh, another drink stand and another pretzel shop, uh, just so there's enough food and drink in the park for the guests. So I'm just kind of doing that right now, just essentially copying over the same style of the one we had before. And then I'm going to kind of wrap the employee pathway around and cover up everything so it's all nice and hidden from uh, view. Put a little gate down to keep the, uh, the guests out, and that should be good. And then I'm just kind of dotting some maple trees around and I was thinking about just calling it right here and just saying, okay, I think the park is good and we're done. Um, so, you know, I get all the maple trees in, cover up this uh, kind of cap off the end of the path. And I was like, all right, I think this is where we're going to leave it. And then I basically changed my mind and immediately decided, now nah, let's put in some more coasters. <laughs> so... Um, that little end bit there that I capped off, I'm going to immediately undo that. And we're going to put in some more rides and some more coasters because, you know, it, I wanted to fill up some of the space. I was thinking of ending it, as I had said, but I noticed I still had a ton of money left over. So I'm like, you know what, let's put this to good use and let's build some more things. So I built a little mini coaster here, nothing fancy. Uh, and I'm just making a station for it, covering it all up. One interesting thing about this station is the track... Uh, of the coaster itself kind of comes over where I wanted the station to be so I had to work around that a little bit You'll see it in just a minute here But I decided to kind of raise the center up a little bit and then have the uh, the sides kind of sloping down And I think that creates kind of a cool look And then I'm doing some cross beams as well uh, Just to kind of detail it out a little bit and make it look a little bit more interesting um, Then on the back because as I said, there's that bit where the the track kind of it's in the upper right right now the track kind of comes over the station I had to do something a little bit different there so I decided to kind of put like a glass uh, roof over this very end bit um, and I think it actually looks pretty good just this final little bit of the uh, the line the, the queue uh, and I think it turned out well I decided to put some awnings in just kind of detail it out a little bit more make it look a little bit more presentable uh, and then that ride is basically done so we got another station in place um, and now I'm going to start working on another one because we have all this space in the back here, too. And I figured I want the uh, the main street to kind of run into some sort of coaster at the very end, right? So um, kind of put the coaster down and had it all kind of line up, not necessarily symmetrically, but like the entrance to the ride and the exit from the ride are kind of symmetrical on either side of the main street. And then I'm just kind of detailing out again, making another little station, uh, doing, you know, sticking with the same theme, uh, that we've had with the the wood tones and the um, all the different kind of wood posts and stuff like that. I, I really like this style. I think this is a style that you're basically going to see quite a lot of over the course of this series because it just works so well um, for a lot of this stuff. And honestly, that's kind of my build style and things in general anyway. Very kind of rustic and uh, all that kind of good stuff. We'll do other stuff too, of course, but um, I think it, it this is a style that really lends itself very well to this game. Uh, so we're just kind of detailing that out, did something a little bit different with the roof, nothing super fancy, but uh, just kind of mix it up a little bit, and then just pop a maple tree down for a little foliage. Now I'm adding in a wipeout. It's another ride, another kind of high-intensity, exciting ride for the guests, just so that there's something over on this end of the park as well. We're going to end up with a lot of unused space um, when all is said and done in the park, but, uh, you know, you can look at my money right now. I'm starting to run a little bit low. We're down to a about... $2,700, which is not that much. <laughs> That'll go pretty quick if you try to build something too crazy. So I'm like, you know what? This will be the last ride, and then everything else will just be spent uh, kind of detailing the park and putting in the finishing touches and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I decided to make the queue on this one covered with a glass uh, covering, and then the ride itself would be open to the air. 
Uh, Because this ride does kind of like raise up and down and stuff like that. Um, But I think this turned out really well. It creates kind of a cool look and uh, all the colors kind of match the theme of the rest of the park. And, and, you know, I think it works. It works well. Um, So now I'm just kind of putting the finishing touches on everything. Just adding in trees, adding in bushes, foliage, maple trees, and all that kind of good stuff. And I think at this point, the park is basically done. All right, we are back. That was a about an hour, and I think the park is pretty much done. We have a lot of unused space over here, but I think that'll be fine. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of money left, uh, so I think all we really need to do now is open the park. Uh, we need to get 200 guests by the end of the year. I think there's probably enough stuff in the park that will get 200 guests very, very quickly. Uh, but a couple things we still have to do. We got to hire some staff looks like we already do have a janitor we have a hauler i'm actually going to grab another one just right off the bat uh we don't have any security so we'll get one of those and then i'm going to get uh an entertainer as well just because he'll make the guests happy i think we're good let's just go ahead and open up the park we'll unpause it and people should start flowing in fairly quickly uh, we're actually going to speed it up a bit because it takes a while for them to all get here and we won't get any thoughts in the park um, just yet. But look at all the stuff going. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rides, I think. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight rides in this park, three of which are coasters. And that's where uh, those are generally the biggest draw. All right, we got people coming in. Our haulers are do doing their thing. Let's just make sure. Yeah, it looks like they can't see any of the stuff that's happening back here, so that's good. And it looks like people are flooding into the park. That's exactly what we want to see. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the thoughts that people are saying. Entrance fee for the park is a really good deal. That means we can afford to charge more. So let's charge like 250 and see what people say about that. More people saying it's a great deal. Maybe we just let it go, though, because the goal here, we don't need any sort of, like, financial goal. We don't have to make, like, a certain amount of money or anything like that to complete this scenario. All we have to do is get 200 guests in the park. So maybe having a cheaper goal or a cheaper uh, entrance fee is fine. Look at all the people flooding in, though. What else are people saying? Let's make this a little bit bigger. Nobody's got any complaints yet. That's good. That's exactly what we want to see. We are losing money, but that's fine. I mean, we don't have any... We're still waiting for all the guests to get in the park. Hard to make money when your guests haven't actually arrived yet. So I did also make a couple minor changes after the time lapse. Uh, or the time lapse. I decided to change the awnings to red because I think it fit the color scheme we were going for a lot better, the kind of reds and browns with all the maple trees and stuff like that. I also added a bunch more extra foliage kind of around here, trees, bushes, little kind of tidy up things, nothing major, but just a couple little minor things to kind of, um, you know, kind of tie everything together and, and finish it off nicely. Look at this, we're at almost 200 guests already. That did not take long at all. People are still saying the entrance fee is a great deal. We could probably jack the price up considerably, but it uh, looks like we have already completed the goal of having 200 guests in the park. And that also completes this optional goal of doing it all by the end of the year. We've actually done it by the end of the second month. That's what happens when you pause and do all of your building right off the bat. That does make a, a pretty big difference. Now, this is the very first scenario so this one's a bit easier um as far as reaching those goals and stuff like that but uh i really like the way this turned out and we get a little bit of confetti to, sh to show that we did well we completed the scenario but i really do love this park i think it turned out super well uh let's just kind of take a little bit of a peek around and this confetti can go away anytime but maybe oh there we go it does actually stop and the rain uh the rain we've got a lot of rain protection and stuff so that's good I don't know. I think this turned out really well. We got a nice main street kind of going down the middle. Benches and trash cans and stuff evenly spaced. We had a, 
a pretty consistent theme for the style of build um, with all the the kind of wood tones and pillars and a uh, very kind of rustic, almost like a log cabin sort of feel going here. I don't know. I think this was a really cool park. I think it turned out really well. Um, but we have a lot of other stuff to do in this series. There are many, many scenarios left. And after all the scenarios are done, if you guys, uh, if there's enough interest in this series, I may just go into doing like a sandbox park and some of that kind of stuff as well. I do plan to play this game for quite a while. Because it's kind of right up my alley and I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, but I look forward to seeing your feedback on this episode and the first one. I haven't actually uh, released the first video yet. That actually comes out about half an hour from right now. Uh, so I'll I'll be able to see your feedback on the first episodes uh, before I record the next one. But uh, I think that is going to do it for me. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.